this is another, I, I guess you want to call it not a tutorial, but more of a just sort of a uh, a walk through my uh, my love of black and white photography. One thing I love about black and white photography is 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 in my opinion it really brings the essence of the person out. Um, and uh, this guy, let me call this guy. Excuse me. Um, call him Mr. Mopac. He's from Austin, Texas, dude. He wasn't expecting to run into another five one two holla. All right, give me one second. I want to show you. In fact, there's a. You can see here. Um, he's trying to figure me out, figure out why I'm taking his picture. You can see, in this case, you know, it's just, again, it's such a, such a good, such a good, I just love how black and white um, really, really um, just gets the essence of that person. Like, you know, you just, you kind of know um, so much about him. Here's another guy. This is one of my favorite. And again, I, I keep going back to this guy because, you know, Oscar Wilde, says, if you want to know who a man really is, give him a mask to wear. Uh, give him a mask. And so, you know, I'm sitting here walking and uh, approaching the PCH and I see these, these guys and, you know, I instantly know I want to take their picture and this guy starts popping. His friend's a little bit more subdued. Um, you know, they're dressed in black and boom, you know, and I'm like, you know, this is, this is like almost like a, another world, you know, you can just see this, you know, and I, I mentioned earlier, one of my favorite quotes is that every person you meet is God in drag, and I just see this, and I'm like, man, that's such a, such the essence of, of this guy, you can see this, and then and then I kind of surprised him. I always like to surprise my subject a little bit, uh, or when I approach people, I, you know, I want to get their essence. So I, I will usually ask them questions and and trying to evoke something that's authentic, you know. And I have, um, and then I just I surprise them. I said, I said, open it, open your, let me see your eyes. Boom, boom. And you see the man behind the mask, and it's just again such a beautiful man, such a beautiful, beautiful. I mean, again, I'm not congratulating my my pictures as much as I am trying to figure out uh, which button to push. But I mean, such a beautiful man. I mean, look at those beautiful, beautiful. You know, and then having fun, man. This guy's throwing me some deuces. I'll show you where I almost got killed, though. This is for real. Um, this guy, I loved how he was popping. I mean, even when I was approaching, he was popping, and he knew he was boom. And then I wanted, I told his, got his friend there. I said, now pop, dude. Then when I told his friend to pop, he popped. So boom. You know, I don't like to pose too much, but anyway, I'll show you where I almost got kilted. This is one of those pictures where, like, um, <laughs> I'll show you. You know, I'm across the PCH, and I know I want to see this, you know, this giant Buddha face. I mean, you just don't see that. So to hear this, see this face, I'm like, I know I want to, you know, photograph that. So I have to cross the PCH, which, if you're from Oklahoma, is like, it's like playing Frogger, dude. This is moving traffic. So this is, <laughs> what do you call this? Frame 600. Now, that motorcycle passed me in front of me and a and a and a, a car passed me so I got literally was motionless while these while these two it was just uh <laughs> the guy yelled at me he's like dude so the most uh I guess most boring uh photo is actually the most dramatic because that's moving traffic so that's how close and then behind me you can see one car has already passed he's he's in front of me and then a car is behind me so anyway but I knew that I wanted to get to here. I knew I wanted to get to Buddha. Had to get to Buddha. You have to go to Buddha to get to you you can't stop, baby. You gotta keep going to um you'll never meet Mr. Mopac. Anyway, I love that picture. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this photography. Um follow me at Twitter or Fibonacci, you know the drill. Google Oscar Wally if you want to know who a man is, give him a mask. Love that. Anyway, I just can't get it. And this is this guy too, I don't give him enough credit. Um, but this guy was such an interesting cat, you know, you know, like, 
This is me kind of waxy nostalgic for my Oklahoma because, excuse me for not keeping this straight. But, you know, one thing about L.A. is that there's there are pockets of beauty in space, which is bullshit. So, you know, when you see, I know I'm not really, you know, you see, anyway, that, there's the ocean, stone, and then um, the people are so interesting. Let me go here. Those are actually a bright blue, excuse me, a bright red. Um, meet this guy, just, I mean, classic. And then this guy was so interesting. Where did he go? This guy's just talking on the phone, man. I mean, he just was... I love cars, BMW, Porsches. But this guy here, gotta have some game, baby. Um, this cat. I'm really pleased with how these turned out. Got my Jonathan Livingston Seagull, baby! Thought this was interesting. This guy in an RV. It's a smile, you're on camera. He's living out of an RV. He's like, smile, you're on camera. I'm like, so are you, nigga? Holla. Anyway, we're screwed. Check this out. Like this guy, you know, just lifeguard dude. Again, this is one of the reasons why I love, 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 love black and white photography. I mean, you just know so much. I mean, you could just I love profile pictures. So, Dustin, Justin, I forgot what his name is. One thing that's interesting about this picture is he's caked in a in uh, sunscreen so you can't see it but there's a lot of like white like almost kind of so you got to just it doesn't really show up in the black and white there but anyway this is my favorite one right here this one right here I like that one the best all right guys hope you're enjoying this if you have any uh, if, if there's anything in the LA you would like me to photo or even including yourself if you want me to uh, uh, do some portraitures or maybe like family pictures or something like that. Again, only black and white. Uh, and I don't do posts, so you're going to have to kind of get out of your head that uh, uh, if you would like me to do some photography that, it, you know, it's not one of these like, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm keen. I do it my way uh, just because I, I want to bring, um, bring what I love uh, um, to your world. So if there's any, if you have any interest in that or, you know, even, heck, man, I saw some beautiful, dude, I saw some beautiful cars today. If you... Uh, BMW i8, holy shit, sponsor this channel. And then, uh, man, I saw a, a, a vintage Ferrari today, vintage, and I did not get a picture of it. Man, that was one of the, that was one of the heartbreaks. I saw a vin, it was a number 50, it was taking this corner around the PCH, like, holy shit, that was beautiful. But I just, you know, sometimes, even though I love photography, there are times I, I, I will, um, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta put the camera down, gotta get off the technology and just really just enjoy it because I mean LA has some beautiful 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 pockets and I hope I can bring some of the beauty of LA to you I mean there's a lot of it's a city so there's a lot of imperfections of any city but uh, you know to find the essence of a city uh, to find the essence of a person to find the essence of anything that's that's why I love photography email me americana417 at gmail.com